Hey folks, Quill18 here. This is just a quick little video to show you how to install the mod I'm going to be using in my upcoming Civ 5 video. It's called the Civ 5 Unofficial Patch plus Vanilla Enhanced mod. This is a, uh, it's kind of a two-part mod. Uh, the first part of it, the unofficial patch, fixes a lot of issues that are sort of outstanding in the game that haven't been patched officially, but that people consider to be sort of a bug or an, an I don't know, insufficiency that has been corrected in this unofficial patch. The vanilla enhanced mod changes um, a lot of the technologies and buildings to be arguably more balanced. It does try to continue, keep the sort of core of the gameplay um, the same. It doesn't do anything really weird, but it definitely changes things. Uh, so depending on what you want, you can pick and choose. You do download it as one package, but then once it's inside your game, uh, you can choose whether you just want the bug fixes or if you also want the various balance fixes as well. So to get to this website, it's civmodding.wordpress.com. You can also just Google Civ Modding as one word or Thal's Civ Modding. Thal is the uh, the maintainer, the creator of this this mod. When you come to his webpage, you can read about all the various changes. Um, if you go down here on the right, this is where you can actually download the current mod, the current release mod, and then the current beta version of his mod because he's uploading or updating it all the time. Um, in fact, there's a new version to it pretty soon, as soon as uh, these little changes get resolved. So when you click on the download link, it's going to bring you over to this page. This is part of the Civ Fanatics website, and this is where the, the file is actually hosted. And then you can scroll down and see the little download file link here. Once you've done that, it will drop this file, unofficial patch and vanilla enhanced version whatever civ 5 mod file, it'll drop that in your downloads folder. And all you're going to do is you're going to take that and drop it into your civ 5 mods folder. So that's under your documents, my games, Sid Meier civ 5 mods. So right, civ Meier civ 5 will look like this. And then you just click on the mods folder and it'll bring you there. If you don't have the Sid, 5, or Sid Meier civilization 5 folder, it's because you may have not run the game yet. Make sure you run Civ 5 at least once. It should create this under my games. And then you can just drop this in the mods folder. If there's no mods folder, go ahead and just create it manually. Although I think it will exist. Then once you have that, you can switch into the game like so. And from the main menu, click the mods button. There's a little warning that, hey, mods might break everything or make your game glitchy. At this point, you click Browse Mods. Now, you may or may not have things in this list depending on what DLC you have downloaded. But you, you'll see in this list, you won't actually see the unofficial patch slash vanilla enhanced mod. Before you see it in this list, you're going to have to click this Install Mods button. Um, before I do, I'm going to show you there is a way, if you go into Online here and you search for them, maybe. you will also be able to find the unofficial patch and vanilla enhanced mod in here. And in fact, it's currently up to date. So rather than going through the web page and copying files from one folder to another, you could just come here and click download and it would have it installed in one easy step. The only thing I find is this is not always updated quite as quickly. There's sometimes a window of one or two weeks where uh, the website might have a new download, especially if you want to use the beta um, and it hasn't been included in the browser here. Uh, but you know, if you want the easy way, then just come here, type in VEM for Vanilla Enhanced Mod, click download, and you'll have it directly into the game. But for me, I'm gonna go and view my installed mods. I'm gonna install the mod, which unpacks the folder. And now, if I go down here, I can see in my list the unofficial patch and Vanilla Enhanced combined. Now, let's say I want to pick and choose which features would be active in the mod. I can go back to my, my mods folder, like so. And you can see this, my file here, which used to be a single file, which was .civ5 mod, has now been expanded into a folder. And if I go into it, there are many, many, many subfolders within, including some links and everything, very, very handy. And you can now pick and choose what you want to enable. Let's say you wanted the unofficial patch for the bug fixes, but you didn't want the balance changes. Uh, the creator says all you do is rename this folder and put an underscore in front of it like this. And then that mod, that aspect of the mod will no longer be active. It's possible you'll have to restart Civ 5 for that to actually take place, but that's how you can disable a part of the, the mod. So I'm, oops, not going to do that. There we are, because I actually do want that in there. So I'm going to click the checkbox to enable this mod. Now it's turned on. None of the others are turned on, just this. So now I can go back, 
single player. I'm still in the main mods section of the main menu, but now I can click single player from here. And it will take a second as it actually loads all the mod files, but then I can go and start a regular Civ 5 game. As soon as it stops being a black screen. There we are. I can load an existing save from this mod or set up a new one. And then, same as always, randomize a bunch of stuff. And I think the leaders should more or less be the same. Um, I don't know if any of the abilities have been tweaked. At a glance, they seem the same. Yeah, even the very powerful Polynesia hasn't been rebalanced, so it does seem like it's more or less the same as it was. And there you have it. You have the mod installed, you can start the game, and enjoy this awesome new game balance. Hope you have success in installing this, and I look forward to my next Civ 5 Let's Play.